Multiphysics Box 10 Shock Monitoring. Welcome to this tutorial. Within the next minutes, we will demonstrate shock monitoring with the Multiphysics Box 10. This includes an overview on how to define a shock event and on the shock data that is provided. Chapter 1 Overview. Besides vibration monitoring, the Multiphysics Box 10 also supports the monitoring of shock events, which is based on the maximum acceleration of the three axes X, Y and Z in a measuring range of plus minus 200 G. The shock data that can be provided by the sensor is the information about the last shock event, and the five strongest shock events since last reset. Chapter 2 Define a shock event. The monitoring of the maximum acceleration is event driven. Data is only recorded if the acceleration has exceeded an adjustable shock threshold. Per default, the threshold is set to 10G. To get an idea on how to define this threshold value, the maximum acceleration since last reset can be read out as parametrization 8. The 8 is activated by setting the threshold to 0g. The current maximum acceleration can then be read out. With this knowledge of the accelerations occurring during normal operation, a threshold value can be defined a little above. The sensor then detects shock events with accelerations higher than the threshold. Please note the minimum threshold for a shock event is 10 G. Chapter 3 Shock data provided by the sensor. If the defined shock threshold is exceeded, the maximum acceleration, the associated timestamp, and the time curve of this last shock event can be read out for all three axes X, Y, and Z, and a corresponding alarm is output. The timestamp always starts at 0 milliseconds when the sensor is reset or restarted and can be written to synchronize it with an absolute time source. Besides the last shock event, the five strongest shock events are stored in the sensor permanently. Each newly added shock event is sorted according to its strength if a new shock event is added, the shock with the lowest acceleration is overwritten accordingly. Please note, the curse of time of the shock events is only available for the last and the strongest shock event since last reset. Both the permanently stored shock data and the shock data for the last shock that occurred can be reset.